Hi, I'm Jeff Wooster, Global Sustainability Director at Dow. I'm joined today by Yuko Koshishi, who is the Senior General Manager for Corporate Sustainability at Centauri. And this is Looped In, where we're talking about unlocking the power of a circular economy. Welcome today. Uh, it's glad to have, I'm glad to have you here, Koshishi-san. Hello, Jeff. Thank you for introducing me, and thank you so much for having me today. So before we get started, could you tell us a little bit about your background and about your role at Suntory? Sure. Um, well, first of all, Suntory itself, maybe some of you may not be familiar with us. Um, we are a beverage company, uh, which was founded in Japan with a history of more than 120 years now. And my role at Suntory is uh, pushing this sustainability agenda initiative, which is very important, which is becoming very important recently. Um, within the whole entire Suntory group. So Suntory not only operates in Japan, but we also operate um, in the United States, in Europe, in Asia, and with more than 40,000 employees around the world. Well, that's great. I think that makes Suntory and Dow about the same age in terms of how long we've been around as a company and also about the same size in terms of number of employees. So uh, we're very happy to be here and to hopefully learn from your experiences today. Before we get more into talking about the details um, on your approach to sustainability at Suntory, can you maybe give us a little bit of idea of how you define the circular economy specifically? Sure. So for Suntory, um, we have a corporate mission to create harmony with people and nature. So what this is, is that we envision to enrich society and people's lives at the same time coexisting with the nature, which is limiting, um, the minimizing the in environmental impact and really making the balance between the people's lives and the environment. That's great. I think it's so important that we continue to think about nature when we think about the circular economy. Uh, we like to think about using concepts of biomimicry to understand how nature works so that we can model our industrial systems after that. And, and just for a company to have the mindset that balancing harmony, uh, nature and people is important. Uh, I think it's a great way to look at sustainability. So I certainly applaud Suntory uh, for taking that approach. Can you tell me what kind of steps Suntory is taking to achieve your 2030 sustainable plastics goals? So we are the beverage company. So we use um, plastics in our, for our packaging and also for our services. And well, while we use a lot of plastics for our packaging, we believe that PT bottles are the material resource and not the waste. So what we try to do is to create this recycling system for the PT bottles. And uh, for this, we have set a 2030 sustainable target, sustainable goals for the PT bottles, which is to make um, all our PT bottles which we use globally to 100% sustainable packaging, meaning that um, only using the recycled materials or the bio-based materials, and thus using zero um, fossil-based materials. Yeah, I think reducing the amount of resources that are required to make our packaging, as you're doing uh, by using recycled content and bio-based materials, is a great way uh, for companies to approach sustainability and help drive their circular economy goals. Um, since Suntory is a Japanese company, can you maybe give us some specific uh, thoughts on how Japan as a country and how the companies in Japan approach circularity? So specifically talking about this plastics and about the PP bottles, which um, Suntory is heavily involved in, uh, the Japanese government has been setting this um, regulatory well, regulation that um, everybody involved in this value chain of the material, uh, which it's not only the government or the municipals, but also us, the industry partners or industry well, companies, us, the companies, and also the consumers. They all have each, they all have the role that they play within this um, entire, how should I say, the value chain of the materials, which is, which is produced, consumed, and then disposed. And then perhaps recycled again into making new materials. So that's one of the approaches the Japanese government has been taking. And of course, so each players are playing their own role. And in terms of us, the companies for the PP, I'm talking about the PP bottles specifically right now, but not only complying with this regulation, but we, we are also having this voluntary um, act to produce only the transparent PP bottles or uh, making the labels easy, 
it, that could be taken off. So those kind of voluntary actions are also taken by the industry. I think those are great examples of how countries or how companies, excuse me, um, can contribute to the sustainability goals for their entire country, whether that country is Japan or the United States or Indonesia or anywhere else in the world. And uh, I think it's great that Suntory has uh, taken that leadership step uh, in engaging. I think it's important that everyone recognizes that to create a circular economy, we need to work together to create a system. Uh, it's not just one company or one organization or one individual doing their part, but it's really everybody working together. So um, one of the things that I know that Centauri has done is developed a new recycling process specifically for PET bottles. Can you tell us a little bit um, about how the, the new technology for PET bottle recycling has uh, helped to drive a circular economy for plastics at Centauri? Certainly. So for the PET bottle recycling, what we call B2B recycling, bottle to bottle recycling system. Um, Suntory is the first Japanese company to develop this B2B recycling system in Japan, which, is, which was in 2011. And this is, again, really simple. B2B is about uh, making new PT bottles from the used PT bottles. So in 2011, we created this uh, technology and taking a step further, uh, in 2018, we have developed a new technology called F2P, direct recycling technology. F stands for flake and P stands for preform. So this is about flake to preform, direct recycling technology. And what it is, is that it is basically one of the B2B recycling technology. So this is making a new PT bottles from the used PT bottles. The difference is the innovation is that, um, let me explain the general process of um, making the recycled PT bottles. So once the generally, the once the used PT bottles are collected, um, they are sorted and all the foreign substances or the different materials will be taken out, removed, and all the PT bottles will then be crushed and then they will be decontaminated, cleansed and decontaminated and made into flakes. And in the conventional process, these flakes will be will go through a couple more steps, which is melting, crystallizing, or again, melting again, and while making into the preform. So taking a step in the conventional, let me repeat this again, but in the conventional process, um, the flakes will go through a couple steps before making before becoming a preform. So preforms is a test, it, it's like a test tube. Um, shaped piece of plastics, which will be blown to the PT bottles um, eventually. So from this flakes to preform process, there are a couple of processes in the middle, but in the F2P direct recycling technology, um, the, this middle process has been cut, eliminated. So what it is, is that the process has been making shorter, has been shortened to make it more efficient. And at the same time, achieving to um, reduce the environmental impact significantly. Can you tell us a little bit more about some of the benefits of the F2P process that Suntory has developed? So as a result of eliminating the middle steps, um, this technology enables to reduce CO2 emissions significantly. For example, um, compared, it reduces CO2 emissions by 25% compared to the conventional bottle-to-bottle -bottle recycling system. And more than 60% uh, compared to making the preforms from the fossil-based materials. That's great. I'm an innovation guy by background, and so I'm always happy to hear about companies making significant innovation advances that help drive a circular economy by being more efficient, using materials better, uh, cutting the amount of emissions or the amount of energy that they need to use. Uh, and it sounds like you've really been able to do that uh, with the F2P process, so I think that's an exciting advance. Can you Thank tell you. us... Um, can you tell us maybe what some of the next steps are um, to, to make the process even more circular? How is Centauri working to, uh, to achieve better circularity? As you mentioned previously, we believe that no one partner, no one player can achieve the circular economy. So it's very important that we collaborate and work together with the all stakeholders, including the government, uh, industrial partners, as well as the civil society. To have this recycling system to work efficiently, it's very important that we have the uh, we have the collaboration, uh, we have the support from the all stakeholders. So, for example, 
uh, we it's very important that consumers who you see who consume the um the beverages that they dispose PT bottles or use packages uh appropriately. So do not mix with the other packaging, but separate them as a PT bottles, which would eventually make it make the recycling easier and also more efficient. And for municipals, uh, perhaps if they collect everything together, it's better that they have them, they collect the resources and waste separately so that the resources will go to the appropriate process to get recycled into the new materials again. And for us, it's very important that we work for the new technology as well as to um, use these used materials for our products again. Yeah, I think that's really important to close that loop. We really have to uh, make sure that people are using the resources that are collected and put back into the system. It's not enough just to make them recyclable, but we've got to actually get them collected and put back into new products. I'm always amazed when I visit Japan at the, the number of recycling bins available in public places uh, and the amount of participation that the public uh, really goes to to participate in the process of recycling. So I think you uh, can teach the rest of the world um, a lot from the actions that you take in Japan and, and the things that Japanese consumers do to help support a circular economy. Can you give us maybe uh, some of my thoughts of, of your ideas around what you think the biggest learnings uh, that Suntory has made that you could share with other companies uh, looking to follow your lead and your example in driving a circular economy? It's about the collaboration that everybody work together. This is not a, just about one person, one um, organization's responsibility, but in order to fully achieve the circular economy, everyone has to think that it is about themselves and that they get involved actively. So one of the examples that I mentioned about Japan is that it's about, there is a, yes, there's a regulation, but at the same time, everybody's working to contribute what they think what they can do on their own, as well as us, the industry has their own well, voluntarily regulation. And also it's very important that um, to foster the mindset that plastics is not a waste, but it's a material resource, the precious resource, and that uh, we all have to um, the and also that the resources are limited. So it's very important that we fully efficiently use this resource um, for the for its, for the sustainable society. That's a very important point. And I think it's one that sometimes people don't talk about enough when they talk about circular economy, but uh, it's not enough just to make products circular. We also have to be efficient in how we use our resources and we have to conserve the way that we use our resources in order to make sure that we have a sustainable future. So I really would like to thank you for, for bringing that point out. I think it's really important. Glad to hear that. So um, thank you very much, uh, Koshishi-san. I really greatly appreciate you joining us today. Uh, everyone, this has been Looped In, a conversation series about unlocking the power of a circular economy, and uh, greatly appreciate your expertise and your wisdom that you shared with us today. Uh, until next time, everyone, thank you very much for joining us, and goodbye. Thank you very much. Bye.